Welcome back. This week's big build is something rather different. I've never had a bag arrive like this before. It just arrived from China in a giant poly bag and this inside. It is very big. Not the biggest that I've built. But let's undo the bag and see if your guesses are right. you've seen the manual which has given it away it is a clone of the Lego G500 had my eyes on this for a while it's been available but the price has still been what I consider to be a lot of money it's still been as a clone set over a hundred pounds but it has now dropped to a little over half that so I thought I'd snap it up whilst it's at a, a reasonable price. It will go lower, it definitely will go lower. All these Technic sets always do. But I thought, as I've not seen any other clone builds yet of this set on YouTube, I thought I'd buy the bullet and uh, get this one done. So yeah, here we go. Let's uh, open the rest and see what we've got. Right, I've seen the number of bags up to about 16 so far. Probably looks like more than that, but uh, yeah, I think I need to get these sorted out, clear the table, and I can start building. See you when it's built, guys. Thanks for watching.
love the model and was really looking forward to building this. However, it's probably my biggest disappointment of builds I've made so far. Um, for a clone set, yeah, in first hand, in first glance, it looks okay. However, there's just so many things wrong. So let me just point out a few of the things that I'm not happy with. Now usually, and I've built a lot of sets from AliExpress, from China, from all sorts of different brands. This has been my first genuine one that has had pieces missing. So you will see the differences in the sense that there should be tiles over the wheels that will have Mercedes logos. There's no tiles, there's no stickers to go on those tiles. The front also should have a tile that's got a bar on the back that just clips onto this. Again, that should have a Mercedes logo. There's not even a position on the sticker sheet for a Mercedes logo for that piece. Whether it's supposed to be a printed part um, and they've just not sent that out, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's nothing in there for that. Um, there were a ton of spares, uh, as you can see here. You've, you've got all these ones here that they'd sent straight ones of, as well as sending um, curved pieces. Um, those are the bits the tiles go on for the wheel hubs. Um, but yeah, a bit of a disappointment there. Uh, I did put the Mercedes logo on the bonnet, but again, the sticker is a completely different shade of orange to the actual car. So I didn't bother with the um, uh, sticker for the, there should be a sticker on here that's got a fuel tank uh, uh, release. And yeah, again, it was just wrong shade of orange completely. So I didn't bother with that. Other issues I find is, I mean, you can see here, this this here is all kind of wavy. Now, the angle of these does not tie up with the angle of how this is supposed to go on. So you've really got to persuade it in. I've actually had to add my own little bar along the top here just to push that out so it actually goes with the curvature of the rest of the car. And that does kind of grip on. This one here, you'll see a good, you see it, that's the angle of the window and you've physically got to push it out for it to snap into place. lines and then it's caught same is on the other side again these it, it just doesn't sit right it just really doesn't and it's not that it's me in the build or anything like that um, it's it's the pure bricks for themselves some of these joints you can see look quite gappy that is as much as they will push apart uh, push together could not get them any any tighter together and it leaves these discrepancies at, at the top where you've got um, slight different lengths look at this one here that would not push in this part here i've tried different red pieces this here must have something inside that it won't push all the way in with or something like that um, mechanics of it not so bad yeah you can see here it steers well Unlike my last build with the uh, Porsche, the steering wheel does um, stay on and it does work and rotate. Just a bit tricky with one hand to do. Um, I've just knocked some mud flap off, which just snap on. Now, I really like the mud flaps, the way they just hang, really nice design, but they do, again, just slide off a tad to easy but yeah that is what it is i'm not too fussed with little bits like that um the chairs the chairs are okay to push the door in you've got to really put these wings of the chairs folded in um 
and yeah, they are as they are. You can't really get access to the gears, although they did they did work. Yeah, it, it was a bit of a faff and the build did take a long time at the early part of it, getting all the mechanics word. It did work. Not the you know, not as fluid as an original set would do. Rear seats are quite cool, the rear seats do actually fold. So you can create bigger space inside. Again, it's not really dressed inside, but the you know the front's got a quite neat dash design. Love the detail of the tow bar at the bottom. Um, the instructions come with two options whether to fit this clamp on it or not. It, it just sits there. You, you can see the ends do not actually go anywhere. I don't know whether that's how the original one is. Um, but yeah, I find that a bit odd. The door for the rear does open up and you can see just inside there. Yeah, not too much persuasion needed for the back. Suspension's really good, so you've got independent suspension to the front, the back, the whole suspension unit there moves. You've got a trunk at the top that's just got well, spare pieces for the back and if you didn't want this contraption around it. And you've got the roof bars and you've got a ladder to the rear there as well. Nice detail of the windscreen wipers. When it moves up, is a bit fragile. It does just literally slide off. That might just be because the pins have very little friction to them. Um, so let's just pop that back on for now. Um, I like the detailing of the engine. It does look quite, you know, as an engine does come where it's covered in plastic these days. Although I'm pretty sure Mercedes don't write on their engines six cylinder. <laughs> bit of an odd one that but um, yeah all in all you know you can't see the six cylinders in there but there are they do work uh, they do go up and down you can see the bonnet the hinges sort of move backwards and forwards I don't know whether that's a design flaw in the original or not um, but I do like the look of that that all kind of works I like the lights I like the shape of the front shame there's no grill there these uh, one of the other biggest flaws with this is these studs here that are literally all over the car they have very little friction to hold these on I mean this does hold to a certain extent these I managed to get some of these to hold and um, I think there's one that's already fallen off on the other side um, but the interiors I've had to give up on. I didn't bother fitting those because they literally just fell off. You also can just about see up here, you've got these little studs all the way along at here. These are supposed to have orange tiles and red um, trans plates on, um, as in like a third brake bar at the very top of a window, how they are now. Again, it does not grip. They are suspended upside down. As soon as I let go, they fall off. There is no grip with those at all. Um, yeah, I suppose the ladder could be more secured, but at least it doesn't just fall off. I do like the idea, the design of the wing mirrors. I think they work really, really well. Like the headlights. So, although yes, I like it as a model, as a clone set from AliExpress, it's no good. It, it really isn't. There are too many flaws. Um, I think that could just generally be the quality of the bricks they've used. Maybe in time there will be better clone sets come out. But this being an earlier clone set, I bought it You know, since the pricing started to drop. But yeah, for this one, I think I'd rather pay the extra and have the better Lego version. Um, I will keep my eyes open as soon as I see a good deal on an original Lego I probably will go and buy a Lego version of this and give a comparison to see whether you know there is a great deal better in it. Um, but yeah have any of you built this yet? 
what have your thoughts been? Have you built a, a built a Lego one? Have you had any experience any of the problems that I've had with this? Uh, have you built a cloned one? And have you got the same issues? Really, really would like to hear from you on this and and see what your thoughts. But yeah, overall, not good, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. I know it's been a long one again, but uh, yeah, really, really appreciate your support and I shall see you on a future build. Thanks very much. Goodbye.